Hello, I'm Kendra Von Esch, and you are listening to my 10-minute daily podcast, Reality Reflections. I bought into what this world said would make me happy. Money, prestige, power. And hey, if it feels good, do it, because life is stressful, so party hard. Do whatever makes you happy. But that didn't quite work out, because I felt even more insecure, full of fear, shame, and anxiety, and never, ever good enough. Then God found me and flipped my reality upside down and transformed my life. And I want this for everyone. So I left my executive career to help others find true acceptance, supernatural peace, joy, and love that only comes from a relationship with God. Here is my reality reflection for today. I don't know where I heard this phrase. Why ask why? And I don't think I'm making that up. I'm pretty sure I heard that from somewhere. Why ask why? And that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. As I was reflecting this morning... I was reading the first reading about Saul and David, how Saul was all upset. In the beginning, he was very happy that David took down Goliath. But then, as the people were singing a song about Saul killing a thousand and David killing ten thousand, or maybe Saul it was thousands, but not a number, he was jealous because David had more numbers in the song. And then he planned to kill him, and his son Jonathan told David and gave him a heads up and then said, let me talk to my father. And then he basically said, why? Why would you want to do this? To the guy who saved us, to the guy who had God on his hand, on his side, I should say, and in his hand when he shot that one smooth stone smack dab in the middle of the brow, taking Goliath down. And so Saul said, as long as the Lord shall live, which is hilarious, because don't know that the Lord will ever die. But as long as the Lord shall live, I will not harm David. It took Jonathan to ask him why. I'm not sure if Saul wanted to really answer that question. So yeah, ask why, because it's the most reflective question ever. I find it funny when you go through the who, what, when, where, why, that why is at the end. (laughs) Because it's the most important question too. After you figure out the who, the what, where did they do this? Who, what, when, where? When, you know, all that. And then you get to the why. Why did that all happen? Okay, I'm, I'm done with that whole thing. So let's think about that for a moment. We need to have spontaneous reflection, spontaneous whys in our life. Not just at the end of the day, but during our life. Paying attention, living with meaning and purpose. It's what it's all about. Not just gliding through the day and somehow looking back and being like, whoa, what happened? So, let's go back down the relationship path. You upset with someone? You resentful? Why? Why is it that you are so resentful, so hurt. And dig, dig down deep. Maybe even write it down. And then ask yourself otherwise. Why would I want this relationship to end? Because when you're mad at someone or you're in a fight or something, I'm pretty sure the relationship is broken. It's just like with us with God and sin. 
that we're good until we sin and we have to go back to reconciliation to mend that relationship. And if you're mad at someone and you're not talking to someone and you haven't forgiven someone, that's the exact same thing. So you got to ask yourself, why would I want this relationship to end? And in some cases, and some cases where we have a choice, right? I can choose my friends. I can't choose my family. But I have chosen to love my family, every single one of them, even though I was upset and mad at a few for long periods of time, one for like most of my life. I didn't ask why back then. And I wish I did. And the why isn't just to rehash what specifically happened if it was, you know, something someone did or to go through your life of that person and how horrible of a person they are. That's not the why. That's what I'm trying to get at. We usually just think the why is pretty, pretty self-explanatory. But if we don't dive in deeper, we're not going to find the true why. And that is why we ask why. We need to get to the root of everything, guys, gals. By the way, if I ever say guys, it is a Midwest non-gender term. (laughs) So it means women too, but I'll try to be more conscious about that. Okay, you're about ready to slip into temptation, some sort of sin you've been battling. Before you do it, ask yourself Why? Because you might just be flabbergasted by the silly answer you have or the non-answer you have. Oh my gosh, I want these Oreos. I want these Oreos. I gotta have these Oreos. I'm moving to the door. I'm moving to the back. Why? Why? Really? Because you just got to have an Oreo? What? (laughs) I mean, let's think about this for a minute. How silly is that? Why? It's not rooted in anything. And it might even be, I want it because I can't have it. That could be your why. But guess what? If you don't sit there and ask, you're just going to be taunted by the thing. And pretty soon you're going to realize how silly, 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 silly these things are. (laughs) Listen, 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 Linda, listen from my podcast yesterday. Silly, silly, silly. That's the deal today. (laughs) ask yourself why. If you're getting irritated with someone today, coworker, your family member, kids, whatever, friends, ask yourself why. And if you don't have an answer, like, I have no idea why I'm so angry at this person, why I look at them and I have this, like, in myself. Then deliver the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I deliver the spirit of anger, of resentment, of hate. And I command you to go to the foot of the Holy Cross for Jesus to pour his precious blood on you and to receive your sentence, never to come back again. Father, in the name of your son, Jesus, please fill me with your peace and your love and your joy for this person. They are a child of God. Please give me compassion. I have no idea what's going on with this person today. And honestly, Lord, I'm not sure why I'm so angry. Please help me love like you want me to love because I can't do it myself. Change my heart. 
And if you're not doing that and you're not delivering the spirits and you're not actively participating in your life, then maybe you should ask yourself why, (laughs) right? Why am I not delivering spirits? Why am I not praying in the morning? Why am I not doing X or Y or Z or not doing X or Y or Z? Because not doing things are things that are good for us too. And doing things are things that are good for us. I don't want to eat healthier. Why? Because I like my greasy food and I like the taste of the food. Okay, why? Because it doesn't do anything good for you. You gain weight, you feel lethargic, don't have any energy. And then you don't like the way you feel that way. And so why would you keep doing that? Why don't You want to exercise, Kendra? (laughs) I don't think I haven't had this conversation with myself. And the answers are sometimes hard. When you hear back because you're lazy, it's not easy to face reality. But that's what living in the spirit, learning and growing, and the journey is all about. If we don't live our lives with a childlike learning heart, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. Because we're going to just learn the hard way, right? We're going to fall and 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 then never know why and then keep doing it again. But if we ask why, and we always have Jesus in mind, Our lives are going to get better in ways that you may never even see. I'm telling you, my coaching clients are surprised when we talk and I'm showing them God in their life. And they're so into their life and so close to it that they're like, oh my gosh, that was God. I'm like, yeah. And in a big way. So all I'm trying to say is, again, the answer is always Jesus. Yes, 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 of course. But we also need to react to that love. We need to respond. That's why you're listening to this podcast. Because you know God and you want to be a better person, a more holy person, a more loving person to yourself and to those around you, and you want God in your life more. That's when you know someone has the gift of faith because they are truly trying to understand the meaning of life. Maybe we'll talk about that tomorrow. And then when you know that meaning... God becomes such a central aspect of it and you aren't happy with who you are at this moment. Okay, wait, that, that came out totally wrong. Erase that. (laughs) Okay. Nails on the chalkboard. Forget what I just said there because that was totally wrong. What I wanted to say, you are satisfied with who you are at this moment. But you know you can be better. I'm sure you've heard, God loves you just the way you are, but he loves you so much, he doesn't want you to stay that way. And that's what we must be doing. We must respond to this beautiful knowledge and understanding and wisdom of life that we're to be different, we're to live different, we're to love different. And the way to do that and to really understand ourselves is to start 
asking the question, why? And I'm just going to say, I probably never asked myself that question for 40 something years of my life. Why did I do that? I don't want to know the answer. I don't want to seem like an idiot just because it was something that I did. I mean, half the time it was just, well, I don't know, it's just something that I do. Like, why do you drink? Why do you smoke marijuana? Why do you watch pornography? Why are you mentally and verbally abusive to someone? Why are you physically abusive to someone? Blah, 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 blah. It goes on and on and on. And a lot of the time, we don't want to know that answer. So let's ask the Lord to come into our lives today and to our hearts. Always changing our hearts so that we know the truth about ourselves, about others, about the world. And that we can make these steps in our lives to improve with God's help and grace, right? And his blessings and grace all over. The only way we can change. If you happen to not listen to my love thing from yesterday, what is love? Please listen. It kind of ties into the one before that too. Like I don't want to make you listen forever, but there is such a theme here, people. Let's start asking ourselves why. And let's ask the Holy Spirit to open our hearts to the truth. And then to the Holy Spirit to transform us and sanctify us so that that heart can change. And our attitudes, our words, our thoughts, our deeds are now aligned with that new heart. This is the walk. And it's awesome. It really is. When God gives you that freedom to walk away from something that has been tormenting you, relationships, pain, angst, fear, worry, anxiety, there's such freedom. And you realize, boy, yes, life is so much easier with you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Why? Why know why I do this? Because I love you all. I love walking with you. I love helping everyone find something more in God. Now get on out there. (laughs) Go be love. And have a blessed and inspired day.